Lady Charmaine, and my guest today is a singer, songwriter, and actor. He starred in Walt Disney's Earth to Echo, and you can catch him in an upcoming movie about the Detroit race riots. And he's here today to talk about the much-anticipated three-night BET miniseries, The New Edition Story, where he plays Ralph Tresvant. I want you to help me welcome to the Lady Charmaine live show, Mr. Al G. Smith. Yes, welcome yes. to the show. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, ladies. Yeah, I appreciate it. You are so welcome. Well, this week has been a huge week for New Edition. On yesterday, they received their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and then tonight, the miniseries for yeah. years, and I want to know what is the excitement like around the entire group, the original cast members, and also you, because you played Ralph, who was one of my favorites. Were you at the unveiling on yesterday? Yeah, definitely. I went. Um, just to answer your first question, this is huge for everybody. This is huge for us as actors, and even bigger for New Edition. This is their life being put on the screen. Thirty years of their life, you know, being put on the screen. And I definitely was there yesterday. That was a moment in, in history. We got to see black excellence all over Hollywood. We've seen the star of New Edition. So that was so cool. Now, you know, New Edition was a soundtrack of my life because they were my very first concert at the age of 13. Can you believe it? 32 no. years ago. <laughs> My very first concert, and Ralph was my biggest crush, so I couldn't wait to have you on the show. So first off, for you to even portray the essence of Ralph Tresvan, did you have to really work with him to kind of get him down in his style and his moves? What was your working relationship like with Ralph? Oh, yeah, so we had this boot camp. We did three to four weeks of boot camp. This was like eight hours a day straight down and probably 30 minutes lunch. And when I first got the part, Ralph came to the boot camp, so he sat down with me. He said he didn't want me to try to be like him. He said, they already picked me for a reason because I embody them. Just like the other fellas, they embody the actual guys. So he said, just do what I would naturally feel in the things and emotions and in the performance things. He was right there to help me. You know, anytime I need to be, I'm already smooth, but, you know, anytime I need to be a little smooth, he was right there to help. Okay, because, you know, Keith Powers was on the show, and he told me that you play Ralph to the T. He said we were going to fall in love with you. So I can't wait to catch it tonight to see what Keith <laughs> would say was right. Now, how familiar were you with the new edition? Were your parents fans of the group? Oh, yeah. My mom was a uh, Ralph fan back in the day. But uh, it was crazier than that is my dad actually toured playing guitar on the Heads of State tour with uh, Johnny Poppy and uh, Ralph. So that was super crazy. That's when I was like 13 years old. So yeah, after that, you know, that's kind of like full circle preparing me for the role, I feel like. Okay, so you kind of knew him. Now, I know you told me you smooth. I went to your website. Yeah, you could sing and stuff, and you kind of <laughs> <laughs> How difficult was it to yeah. learn choreography, or were you just a natural dancer? Nah, it was like, I can dance, but it was just so much different because these people think these moves are easy, but these are like super like, precise steps and it's like the difference between holding your hand to you know sending me up from one place is like it's so precise that everything has to be on point and then we all have to look like a group so it was definitely harder than we thought now brooke payne is still with the group as we're going to find out in the movie he's been with them for years did he help you all with the choreography as well since he was one of the original choreographers Oh, yeah, Brooke was there every day of boot camp. He wasn't missing it, and he wasn't playing no thing. We were trying to go get some water. He's like, what you getting water for? What you need that for? <laughs> <laughs> it was such a blessing having, like, the original choreographer there. Like, that was so cool. Now, were there any, like, discrepancies with the stories when you guys were on the set? Did some of the members say, no, man, it really didn't go like that. It went down like this, and, and the cast members was kind of, like, in the middle. I'm just kind of curious. No, nah, no, nah, because I feel like, well, you know, a little different for dude, they helped co-produce the whole movie. Mm-hmm. So everything that everybody wanted to say had already got out. You feel okay. me? So everybody was already cool with what was being aired out, you know? Now, the movie reminded me of the Temptation story. And it seems like, you know, Bobby Brown is yeah, like a David Ruffin character. Did you see any similarities among the stories with the Temptation story in New Edition? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely feel. I definitely feel where you're coming from when you, when you say that. Um, I think it's important to point out too. Like we were talking the other day, and people think that this is a this is a total new edition movie. So mm-hmm. it's not just Bobby or it's not just Johnny. Like it shows you equally everyone's story. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it, it, it does have that sensation to it. It does have the five heartbeats to it. Like we we wanted it to be that way. You know that real mm-hmm. authentic feel. 
Okay. Well, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Al G. Smith. He stars as Ralph Tresvant in the new edition story airing tonight on BET. Yeah, yeah. Mini series. Make sure you tune in at 9 p.m. Now, my next question for you. Um, tell us about the star-studded cast. I mean, everybody in this cast can sing. They can act. So tell us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on now. You got you got. Well, you got Luke James in it, first of all, two times Jamie nominated. Let's not forget about that. You got Elijah Kelly. He, uh, he was uh, the scarecrow in The Wiz, and he did Hairspray. You got Keith Powers, that was in Straight Outta Compton. You got Wicked McClain, Instagram Sensation. You got Bryce Gray, who's been on Empire. And, of course, you got me, Alex Smith, you know? <laughs> I guess I can see why you're Rob. You're very charismatic. Now, I notice now in, in a lot of the tours that the guys are doing as BBD, I haven't seen Ralph or Johnny a lot. Is there a particular reason behind why we're not seeing them a lot in the promotion tours? You know, I don't even know. To be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you. Um, I've only been to two days. Uh, which I wanted to go to so many more, but I don't even know. I can't tell you why why they haven't been there, to be honest. Okay. Now, what do you want the audience to take away from watching the new edition story? Uh, we want everyone to take away the, the 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 loyalty, the triumph, the fact that this is not new edition against new edition. Mm-hmm. This is a story about new edition against the music industry, you know? Interesting. That's a good point. Now, before we go, Algie, let everybody know what's next for you for 2017. What are you working on? Uh, man, well, first of all, of course, we got a new edition coming out. Mm-hmm. I dropped some new music right after the new edition. And later this year, August 4th, I have a new movie coming out directed by Catherine Bigelow. First female to ever win an Oscar. And that's about the Detroit riots in 1967. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, good. Well, again, Algie, thank you so much for coming on the show. Congratulations. We are looking forward to seeing the new edition story tonight on BET. Make sure you set your DVRs if you can't watch it live at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Everybody, Algie Smith. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lacey. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, too. Bye-bye. Bye.